Welcome back everybody to American Beef Ranch. My name is Jesse. Thank you for stopping into a video about five minutes long about soil health and something that can help you be a better farmer. I wanted to take some time and talk about why you are literally choking the life out of your soil. Now let's get into it. So last week, if you look, up there in the cards, you check out my video about nitrogen. In that video, I talked about in a perfect world, we wouldn't have to apply any nitrogen. The soil would pull that nitrogen out of the air. Good bugs in the ground would eat it, turn it into nitrogen that's available for our crops, take it to the crops in exchange for sugar from the roots, and that process would go over and over again, and we would never have to continually add to that product. Unfortunately, the way that we've th thought about things for the last 50 years and the way that we've done things for the last 50 years has destroyed that soil structure to the point where the soil is literally suffocating. The nutrients that need to be there to help build the soil structure, let the, loose, let the soil relax, and do what the soil is designed to do by taking that awesome atmospheric nitrogen, which 78% of it's up there, and other, pull it into the ground, including oxygen, and use it, it's not able to. Your soil can not respirate. I would almost guarantee it. Over 99% of the soils that are farmed in the world are probably not able to properly respirate. Now, some people may say, well, how do you know? How do you know those soils don't properly respirate? Well, guys, I look at soil tests a lot. And another thing that I've learned is that if you can't measure something, you will never know if you're actually making progress. So first off, our soil tests tell us a lot. Number two, there's a pretty cool little tool I wanna to show you now, let me show you that. So this, guy right here is called a soil penetrometer literally just a rod on a dial and that dial is slowly or this rod is slowly pushed into the ground and it helps you determine how tight your soil is and if you're guess what if your soil is too tight it can not breathe so basically we select the correct tip if you have sandier soils the big tip if you have tighter soils, clay soils, or silt loam soils, smaller tip, and we slowly press this device into the ground. We look at the needle, and there's two different charts, the one on the outside for the big tip, the one on the inside for the small tip, and we watch that needle. And then as you see, we pull it out, and it's marked every three inches, so we can see where the problem starts. So you see this ground is pretty mellow till about nine inches, and then you know what? It gets pretty dang tight. So, how do we fix that? How do we uncompact and allow our soil to respirate? Well, there is three ways, one, two, three, that we can help correct this soil issue. Number one is mechanical. Mechanically, we can use strategic tillage to manipulate the soil in a way that is beneficial for the soil structure. Yes, we're probably gonna use a little bit of the matter up, but not all organic matter is good matter. But mechanically, you can turn the ground, you can till the ground, you can plow the ground to help your soil respirate properly. And this is kind of why no-till kind of stinks. Uh, don't kill me, but Post it down there in the comments below what you really think about no-till. No-till is a great option if it works for you. But if your soils are not healthy enough, it can be a detriment because you're always gonna see a yield drag. You're always gonna have to be feeding those nutrients, that nitrogen, that thing, those things on top of the ground. And honestly, you're just not gonna be able to manipulate your soil in the most efficient manner to get it to the healthiest point as quickly as possible. The second, way that we can help fix compaction and help the soil respirate is by minerals. So applying the right minerals to the soil will help the soil relax and help breathe and let it just, you know, like a nice massage can do. So that mineral usually, even in excess lime situations with high pH like I have here, is available calcium. If you apply available calcium, maybe with some other carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, sor oxygen sources, that is one of the best ways to help loosen your soil, let it relax, and let it do its job like it's supposed to. Now, there's plenty of places to get that kind of stuff. If you see a penetrometer and you know I'm talking about calcium, you can probably figure out the other guy on the internet where you can get that calcium from, but I plan on carrying the calcium 
in my store pretty soon too. Anyway, that calcium is available. And if you say, Jesse, well, I have a whole bunch of calcium in my soil and I really don't want to add more available calcium, why can't I just use that calcium? Well, you can, but you have to figure out what makes that calcium available. And that could be a lot of different things. And you know what? We'll just talk about calcium next time. So if you want to see calcium, make sure you come back next week. The third way that we can affect soil structure is biology. Putting good bugs in the ground, letting them work, letting them build, letting them move nutrients around, letting the worms come back, letting nature do what it's designed to do in that ground. So, obviously, you have three different ways. You have mechanical, you have mineral, and you have biological. You have biology. You have the world to use to help your soils respirate. And honestly, you need to take a time. This tool right here is $200. And you should definitely, if you have any amount of acres, invest in this because this is the best way and the quickest way for you to test how compacted your soils are and get a quick readout. Like, look, right here I can see good till about right there. You know, in this spot, we're a little bit better. It looks like we got 12 or so inches of pretty decent breathable soil. But now we have the opportunity to put more the correct nutrients on that soil and help build the structure like we need it to do and not destroy the ability of this ground to breathe. Anyway guys, with just a little bit of extra time spent, you can learn a whole lot about dirt, a whole lot about soil, and you can help build the absolute best dirt in your county, in your state, and in the world. And you know what? your crops are gonna thank you for it. Anyway guys, I'm Jesse. If you wanna learn about calcium, see you next time.